Hi, welcome to this lesson on major scales. First we're going to have an introduction to scales in general and then we'll talk specifically about major scales. A scale is essentially a collection of pitches that have been arranged in an ascending order. In fact, the word scale comes from the Italian word scala, which means a ladder. So as we ascend up the pitches of a scale, it's like we're climbing up the rungs or the steps of a ladder. Most music is based on the pitches of a particular scale, and if we take the notes from the melody and arrange them in ascending order, we can determine what scale the music is based on. So I'll give you an overview of some of the most common types of scales now, but there are many types of scales throughout the world. In Western music, diatonic scales are the most common. These are seven note scales that use all seven letters of the musical alphabet, A through G. Uh, for example, in this Mozart piano sonata, if I were to take the pitches from that melody and arrange them in ascending order, I would come up with something like this. which is the diatonic scale called the major scale. Um, here's another type of diatonic scale. And the pitches from this melody can be arranged like this. that's the type of diatonic scale that we call a minor scale. Um, another type of diatonic scale can be seen in this older uh, Gregorian chant. and so on. And if I were to arrange these pitches in, a, in order from lowest to highest, I would get something like this. This particular one is, this particular mode is called the Lydian mode, but there are various church modes that are sometimes used also in modern music. So those are some of the types of diatonic scales. Um, scales that use different number of pitches uh, are, for example, the pentatonic scale, which is a five-note scale. This is common in uh, music throughout the world, particularly folk tunes. For example, in this recording. And the notes from this melody all come from this five-note scale. The G pentatonic scale. There are different types of pentatonic scales, which we won't discuss all of those now. Um, the chromatic scale is made up of nothing but whole steps and uses all 12. I said whole steps, didn't I? It's made up of nothing but half steps and uses all 12 half steps in the octave. Um, so here's a piece by Arnold Schoenberg that uses all. 12 of the half steps in the octave equally. Anyway, if I were to take all of the pitches from this melody and arrange them in ascending order, I would get something like this. Right, so the collection of pitches this piece is based on is the chromatic scale. Whole tone scales are made up of only whole steps, and that it, the result is that there's six different pitches in this scale. Um, here's an example of a piece using the whole tone scale.
Okay, and if I send the pitches, or if I arrange, that is, the pitches of this melody, I would get something like this. It's a scale made up of only whole steps. Um, another type of scale that is, has a consistent pattern is the octatonic scale that alternates between a whole step, half step, whole step, half step. Um, and it ends up having eight different pitches. Um, found in quite a bit of Russian music, for example, in this piece by Scriabin, we have an octatonic scale. Okay, so th the pitches, when put in ascending order here, would sound something like this. Except there was a mistake in mind. So that is the F sharp octatonic scale. Um, one other type of scale that's pretty common that I don't have here on the slide is the blues scale. And here's an example of blues in F. Okay, so this uh, piece is based on the F blues scale as follows. And that's just a sampling of the many different types of scales you can encounter in different types of music around the world. Now we'll focus more specifically on the major scale. This is one of the types of diatonic scales that uses all seven letters from the musical alphabet and it has a particular pattern of whole and half steps that makes it sound like a major scale. And that pattern of whole and half steps is whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. In other words, the half steps come between scale degrees uh, three and four here, and between scale degrees seven and eight in, in the scale. All of the other steps are whole steps. Any scale that has that pattern of whole and half steps will be a major scale. It just so happens that if you start on C and then ascend up the white keys on the piano, that's the pattern that occurs. So the C major scale uh, is also known as the white key major scale. If you wanted to create a major scale on any other scale degree, uh, you would need to use accidentals to make sure the half steps were in the right place in the scale. So for example, if I start on F, um, when I get up, I have a whole step from F to G, a whole step from G to A. But without this B flat, I would have had a whole step there. So the B flat changes this to a half step. I need a half step between 3 and 4. Then a whole step from B flat to C, a whole step from C to D, a whole step from D to E, and finally between the 7th and 8th scale degrees, I have a half step. So the B flat allows me to recreate the, the correct pattern of whole and half steps. Um, when one more example of this is G major. So I start on G and go up a whole step to A, a whole step to B. There's already a half step between B and C. That's in the right place between the third scale degree and the fourth scale degree. Whole step from fourth to the fifth, whole step from fifth to sixth. And if I had just gone up to F, that would have been a half step, right, from E to F. So there needs to be one more whole step, and that's why the F sharp has been added to this scale. Uh, and then lastly, between scale degree 7 and 8, I have a half step. So G major always uses an F sharp, while F major always uses a B flat. And when we talk about key signatures, you'll see that these are the accidentals. They could get put in the key signatures for those keys. Um, and knowing your key signatures is actually a quicker way of spelling a lot of these major scales. But for right now, we're just going to focus on this pattern of whole steps and half steps. So here's how those scales sound. Here's C major. If I start on F, I need to add a B flat. If I start on G, I need an F sharp. And the assortment of accidentals that you need to make major scales is different for every pitch, um, and that's why every key has its own 
unique key signature. Now I want to talk a little bit about the names for the scale degrees. Um, of course, you can refer to scale degrees by their number, scale degree 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. But each one of these pitches in a scale also has a name that kind of explains their function in the scale. All right, so the first pitch in the scale, and also the most important pitch, is the tonic. This is scale degree 1. All the pitches sort of gravitate towards this tonic pitch. If we have that be our tonic. The next most important pitch in the scale is called the dominant scale degree, scale degree 5. Um, and it moves towards the tonic. Or, right? So we have sol, do, 5, 1. Right underneath the dominant is scale degree 4, the subdominant. 4, 5, 1, or subdominant, dominant, tonic. Fa, sol, do. So subdominant is the name for scale degree 4. Another important uh, scale degree is the leading tone. It's called the leading tone because it leads right into the tonic. It, it wants to resolve up into the tonic. Right? 7, 1, T, Do. 5, 1, 7, 1. So leading tone describes its function. Now, some of the other ones, halfway between the... Um, dominant and the tonic is the median. So here's the tonic, the dominant, the median is in the middle. Tonic, median, dominant, do, mi, sol, mi, do. Scale degree three is the median. Scale degree two is right above the tonic, so we call it the supertonic, super meaning above. Right? Do, re, supertonic, tonic, supertonic can often resolve down to the tonic as well. And then the probably the strangest name, halfway between the uh, tonic and the subdominant is the submediant. Scale degree six, the name is the submediant. <clears throat> so here's the names of all the scale degrees again. Tonic, supertonic, median, subdominant, dominant, submedian, leading tone, tonic, tonic, leading tone. Submediant, dominant, subdominant, median, supertonic, tonic, or do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do, ti, la, sol, fa, mi, re, do, or one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Those are different ways of referring to scale degrees. I, the other I was using, of course, is solfege. The do, re, mi, fa, sol goes back to the medieval period. All right, so there's some basic information about major scales and scale degree names and scales in general. Uh, go ahead now and take the quiz that um, follows. <laughs>